Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of TikTok. Let's talk about some ticks. These are the new mini seek ticks that we're gonna be going to for every riding position on both big rigs and medic units. So two per medic unit, three per big rig, uh, one for the officer, one for the engineer, and one for the third. As of right now, the squads, along with the BC rigs, are going to have one. The goal is to get two on each squad when we get more of these in. So let's go over them. Some of you may already be familiar with them, but being that there's going to be one per every spot, I would encourage everybody to get familiar with them so that we can use them comfortably. Turning them on is easy. It's just the center button right here. And once you turn them on, they have three modes. The first mode going to be fire mode. Fire mode just means that it has a temperature range of 300 degrees Fahrenheit to about 1020 degrees Fahrenheit. What that means is that those are the temperatures in which what the tick is looking at is going to start lighting up with colors. Otherwise, everything's going to be on a gray scale. But once you hit that temperature range of 300 degrees Fahrenheit and up, whatever you're looking at that's above that temperature will be colorized. That's fire mode for higher temperatures. The second mode is gonna be survey mode. Survey mode has a temperature range of 150 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little bit lower, but again, those are the temperatures in which things are gonna to start to get colorized. So those, uh, that mode can be used for things like a car accident if you're looking for victims, uh, potentially in hazmat applications, for something that's not gonna generate a lot of heat, like a smoking outlet call or smoke in a residence or just a water leak. Really, it's gonna be your environment that dictates what you use. The third mode is gonna be color mode. That one does not have a temperature range because it's gonna to try to colorize everything that the tick is looking at. So that's gonna be a lot more vibrant on the screen, maybe a little bit overwhelming as far as what you're looking at, especially if you're scanning, because again, the tick is gonna to try to colorize everything and instead of lighting up something that glows, that shows significantly hotter or colder, everything's gonna be on a color scale. So that one's best for demonstration purposes or if you're looking at something um, static. The way that you switch between these modes is just the upper left button on the unit right here, and that's gonna switch between survey, fire, and color mode. The top right button is used to take a screenshot. So if you're looking at a particular object, and you want, or anything that you want to take a screenshot of, maybe for an after action, or anything that you think would be good to show the crews after the call, you can press the top right button, and it's gonna take a screenshot of what it is that you're looking at, and then we can download that from the computer uh, when we plug it in later. Other functions of the tick, it's also got a flashlight with three different modes, that's gonna be the top right button on the side. Flashlight is 300 lumens. The tick, when it's fully charged, is gonna last approximately three hours of continual use, and it takes approximately one hour to go from 0% to 100% charge. So as far as charging the tick, these new units have a magnetic charging port along with a magnetic charging cable. Once that's plugged in, or connecting magnetically to the tick, they're charging, or you can uh, download any images that are saved on the tick onto the computer, just like you would any other cable or from your phone. Some of the older models do have a micro USB charging port. Those are typically most often found on medic units. Um, it's no different charging it than we would charge a cell phone with it. As far as the charging cables, they're gonna be on every rig. There's gonna be one on every rig because each rig is also going to have uh, in the future a charging bank where you can put your tick in, uh, let it charge for however long you need until you get that full charge, and then you can go back to having it on your pack. So these ticks all come with an aftermarket case and a gear keeper on a carabiner so that they can be kept on each pack. The, as part of your daily, check the battery, check that they're operational. As part of your weekly, charge it just like you would any other battery operated tool, charge it to a full charge. Some things to be aware of with these, um, obviously in order to use them, they need to be used at 90 degrees. 
the camera visualizes whatever it is that you're pointing at and it shows on the screen right here. So if you're looking straight ahead, you need to use the unit at 90 degrees. That can be a bit of a hindrance if you need to look at something that's below grade or below you, because at that point you have to hold it almost vertical while trying to visualize the screen. Best way to remedy that is just to hold it sideways and see what you're looking at that way. Maybe if you need to look inside a window or down a hole. As far as their heat exposure rating, um, these ticks are rated for a maximum of two minutes direct heat exposure at 225 degrees per the manufacturer, which uh, shouldn't affect the way that you use them. The one common failure point that we found with these is that if water gets directly under the screen, that can cause them to fail. So try to limit the amount of water exposure that these ticks um, undergo that these ticks are exposed to. If you need to clean the lens right here, uh, what you're gonna need is a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip or a cleaning alcohol. Please don't use any other cleaning solutions or any of uh, the purple top wipes or any other kind of cleaning wipe. This lens is pretty sensitive. That's it as far as the ticks. Uh, three modes that you can cycle through, one per riding position on the big rigs and the medic units. Um, they come with the charging cables. Please don't lose these. Uh, they're meant to be used in a swap over as well because the main frontline rigs, um, the engines on the ladder are gonna have the charging bank that we can just drop these in for charging, but not all rigs will. So if you need to, swip to a, swap to a backup rig, then we can use the charging cable. So please don't lose those. Uh, don't hesitate to contact me if you guys have any questions with the ticks or any kind of a failure with them or anything that you need. I'd be happy to help you. Great thing about these, one per riding position. There's no excuses not to have a tick on the fire ground anymore. Um, this takes care of the main issue that we had with them, which is that they got forgotten in the rig. Being that they're kept on your pack on a carabiner, you should have them. This was your TikTok. Thank you.